How's it going guys, Gilson here, and welcome back to Guilty Craft 2, episode 16. And this episode, I'm going to base around magic. And more specifically, blood magic, and if we have time, a little bit of Britannia, because we haven't touched it in a few episodes. So, my problem with blood magic at the moment is that I keep running out of blood. And I, I looked up the Master Blood Orb, and um, I found out it can hold a million life points. And right now, in my life network, I only... I just scratch 50,000, I have 53,000 and I want to make a ritual, that's right I made a new uh, building up here, it's quite simple just out of stone uh, and I've got some fire <coughs> and uh, I know you're probably asking, Gilton why did you put your altar like outside and stuff, no this is a second altar, uh, this is a second altar so I can perform a ritual of sacrificing witches um, to get myself blood and then that blood's going to go into my blood network uh, so this is a secondary altar and then my primary altar is under here so it's really simple but what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, a blood magic ritual just like my um, ritual of the binding which was already there I need to make myself a well of suffering and I'm going to do this by making a divine um, a ritual diviner which is here now I'm going to need the upgraded version the second tier upgraded version which can place dust stones now I've already got myself some demonic slates but I'm going to need myself uh, two dusk uh, and all these now all the elemental inscriptions all need different stuff so I think I think I should have it all, if I can remember all the ingredients. Um, gas tier magma cream. And what was the other one? I think it was a block of coal. I'm pretty sure it was... Oh no, it was two blocks of coal for the dusk. Block of lapis. Oh, block of obsidian, that was it. So obsidian and... Then that should be it. We should be able to make it. Alright, sweet. So I'm going to try not to use my sigils as of yet. Because the reason I have just over 50,000. Is because you need 50,000 to activate the ritual itself. Using a weak Activision crystal. So. Oh, I'm just going to drain you. Actually. Ah, I am on peaceful. Okay. It keeps setting me back to peaceful, it's really annoying. I'm going to have to try and set, uh, sort it out, because I'm going to be using mobs in the future to uh, get me blood. And obviously, if it goes to peaceful, I won't be getting any blood. So, oh, I need to make that into... <clears throat> Boom, there we go, nice. Okay, so you have to go in there. And then, right, okay, so we got three. We just need the fourth one. Boom. So now we have earth, water, fire, and air. And now we just need two at dusk. One dusk. And finally, two dusk. And we are left with no blood whatsoever in the blood altar. All right, 3,000 should be enough for the future. All right. So now we're going to need some uh, diamonds and emeralds to make ourselves the actual ritual diviner itself. So let's just come into here. Alright, so it's four diamonds, one emerald. And, oh, okay. So wait, what's the... Okay, so it's air. Right, okay. Earth, fire, air. You... Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I did it. And uh, let's see if I can remember the recipe. Oh, fantastic. So this is the next tier up. This is a tier 2 ritual diviner. It basically just builds rituals for me. It's not a needed item, but it definitely makes your life a lot easier. Then the next tier allows you to place dawn, stone, uh, dawn runes. Uh, and obviously you need ethereal slates, which is in a tier 5 altar, which we currently don't have, but I will definitely, definitely get. So the next thing we're going to need is obviously the master ritual stone and the ritual stones. 
We're going to need quite a few of these. This, these require a lot of obsidian, actually. So if I just grab some obsidian out of this chest, we're going to condense it up. And uh, there we go. So if I place you in there, I'll grab some fuel, which I've had cooking up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm just going to grab a stack for now. All right, that should be good. Um, perfect. And I think I've got... Because I did quite a bit off camera um, to prepare for this episode. Because this would have been quite a long episode to do. Yes, yes, some reinforced slates. Okay, so I think reinforced slates go like this. <clears throat> oh my god, look at all this. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we've got 40. Perfect. And then finally, it's just you guys, and then you guys, and then, boom, one ritual, nice. Oh my god, it's already getting dark. I kind of want to do this during the day, just so the night doesn't interfere. Yeah, okay, so let's go to sleep, and uh, I'll do it in the morning. Right, see you guys in the next morning. Oh, right. Okay, so let's do this ritual. Uh, so basically, what I've done is I've placed the altar above the ground. Um, and I'm going to be placing the ritual. I'll leave the door open. I'm going to be placing the ritual high up in the ground so that it doesn't interfere with my other blood altars. Because if there's two blood altars, it will only go to one. And I'm not too sure how to control what blood altar it goes to. So I've just made sure that this block is out of range of my other blood altar, which is down there. So <clears throat> let's get up here. Let's put you down. Uh, and let's get you. Now, right now, it's not set to anything, I don't think. But if I shift right click, it will go through all the different rituals which I can make. And I want ritual... Oh no, it's called Well of Suffering. There we go. So, <clears throat> I think it might use... Yeah, it uses a little bit of life points. Oh, but look how cool the structure is. Oh, don't go under 50,000. <gasps> it's just left me with just enough. But look how cool this ritual looks. So, all you've got to do is just right-click and it builds it all for you. I'm going to put some more bloods in my blood network for now. Just so I've got a good supply of blood when I activate this ritual. Okay, so this ritual will constantly drain blood from me as long as it's active and it's killing monsters. Um, <clears throat> now, if if I don't have enough blood, I think it will just drain me completely, but it only drains blood when it's killing. So that is a good point to make. So I can get rid of this block. I can then regen some health and I need to activate it as well so let's come down here get the weak activation crystal <clears throat> oh god I shouldn't be using that I need to save as much blood as possible just over 50,000 okay I also need to grab all the witches all the witches I'm gonna be using oh this is gonna be it this is gonna be unlimited blood and what I might have to do is grab my other orb, my magician's orb, yeah. Because I need an orb in my blood altar, so it feeds into my network. So let's just oh, let's put you there. Let's climb to the top, like so. <clears throat> okay, so I've still got over the recommended amount for this ritual, which is 50,000. And now let's activate it. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, well of suffering. Cool. Has it has it activated? Oh, it has. It has. It's going. It's going. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put my Okay, so that's activated. So that's taken the blood out of my blood network. I'm going to put my orb in there. And then I'm going to put a witch down. Oh god. And as you can see, it's taking damage. And I should see my life points. No. Oh no, it's it's not going up. 
Why isn't it going in? Is it going to my other... Oh, God. Uh, get me out of here. <laughs> Why isn't this working? Do I need more mobs? That might be a possibility. Let's let's place a few more witches down. So, one, two, three, four. And am I going up? Oh, God, I'm still going down. I'm still going down. What's wrong with this? Oh, please don't tell me it's feeding into this this one here. No, it's not feeding into that one. That's really weird. Oh, yeah, I also put some blackout curtains here so it looks a little bit more secluded, like a private nightclub. So, as you can see, the blood is going in, and it is going into my orb. Maybe I should put... Oh, God, I'm sacrificing it. So if I take this out, it is very slowly filling up. Oh, God. And then if I put this blood orb in... Oh my god, get, get, get the hell out of there. <clears throat> oh, come on. It's still draining. Why is it draining? How long does this poison last? Oh, only another few seconds. But this is no good if it doesn't... Oh, they're, oh, they're only just, they're just attacking each other. Oh, okay, I'm probably going to die, but that's going to 900, 940, 980. Ah, oh, now it's draining, now it is draining. Okay, so my blood is going up now, but we need to see if it's worth it in the long run. Okay, so it looks like it is... It is progressively going up, 3,800, 3,900, and then it will drop down because of the uh, cost, 4,000, okay, so it is working, it is working, it was just a slow process to set up, but obviously the reason why I chose witches is because they regen health, so before I had a mob grinder underneath my altar with a few spawners, but these witches will of course always regen their health. <clears throat> So this is actually really useful. 4,600. Yeah, so slowly going up. And at, over time, as I see mobs, I will make safari nets, multiple use safari nets. And I'll capture those uh, witches like Pokemon and just put them in my witch my witch pen. <laughs> A witch pen. It, it's cool. It's a witch pen. <laughs> um, so there we go. That is how I have got unlimited blood. <clears throat> Now, alongside unlimited blood, there's another thing which I want to make, which is unlimited mana in, in uh, Britannia. Now, this is going outside my comfort zone a little bit with Britannia, because I haven't really touched it. But, I've got my Lexica Britannia, and I'm ready to tackle it. So, let's use my Sigil of the Haste to get over there. Oh, actually, there's a few things I need to grab first, before I go over. Which is, uh, I'll grab like 30 iron. <clears throat> and three ender pearls. I think that's everything I will need. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to be making myself some bands of mana and aura. Now, band of aura will generate uh, mana over time, and band of mana will store that mana. So they work in harmony, which is really cool. Alright, so we're over here, and we're going to be doing... We're actually going to be using the runic altar for once. And <clears throat> I need to check to see how much uh, magic this has. Now, I found out why my... Um, I found out why I haven't got that much money. It's because this damn chunk wasn't loaded. So I made myself another chunk loader. It's because I'm all over my sort of land. And I need to make sure that all the chunks are loaded when I'm doing work off camera. But if I get myself some iron. As you can see it can make me. What is it? Mana steel. So there we go. 
So if I make myself five, uh, let's make myself six of us. Okay, so I've still got plenty of mana. I can also use this mana pool, but really that's for my runic altar. Um, I need to make myself a mana pearl. Perfect. And if I put a mana pearl in with some living rock... I can make myself a mana tablet. Now, this is a way of transporting mana around, so it's super useful. So if I want, I could chuck this mana tablet on there. Oh, God. And it will start storing it. But obviously, I have to set it to... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, buy mode. There we go. I sort of found out how I can uh, use my wand. I am getting I'm getting used to it. It's it's going well. So let's make our band of mana first. So it, it's just some more mana still. Alright, okay. Which we have. We actually have it. Alright, sweet. So these this is actually really early on um stuff in Britannia, which I just haven't done. But there we go, band of mana. Now this can be equipped in the bubbles slot. And see, I can have two rings as well. So there we go, a band of mana. Now that will have a durability when I start generating mana, which I will do with the Band of Aura, and I need a Rune of Mana. Now this is one, two, three, four, five um, Mana Steel Ingots and one Mana Pearl. Okay, so I'm going to need three Ingots. So that's five and one. Okay, so now I am going to use, or attempt to use, my Runic Altar. So I think I right click let me just make sure is it yes yeah, so i right click oh no not for pearl i need it with the mana pearl there we go and i think it's five of you there we go and i think if i read my book uh what's under basic runic altar simply right click or tossing the components in the room that you want to create Make sure there's a mana spreader, which there is, and right-click with the uh, wand of fo uh, with the wand of a forest. Uh, this, when it receives enough mana, it will happen. It will drop. Oh, oh God! Oh God! Get out of there! What are you doing? Hey, get out of my garden! You don't mess with another guy's garden. That's that's a rule. Yeah, get out of there! Right, I'm gonna have to go sleep. Okay, I should have enough. Bloods. Oh yeah, so it's going up by quite a bit. Oh god, I'm going in the back entrance. Oh, I should save a top entrance. Oh no. Oh no, there's a blood moon. Oh, this is going to be a long episode. Oh no. Oh my god, are you, are you having a giggle? A blood moon is basically a mob... It's just loads and loads of mobs just just boning your ass. That's that's the best example I can give it. Oh no. Oh my god! Why are all these wanderers spawning in my house? Get out of there! I'm sorry, like my original wanderers of Guilty Craft. Um they built themselves a village and became like villagers, but Oh my god, these guys. Right, okay, actually. Hang on, how? That is going up. I'm just going to see if... Oh. Has this spawned any more... Where are my witches? What? My witches are gone? My witches are gone, but it's still generating me magic. Uh, not magic. It's still generating me blood. I think we've just glitched out because it's still getting me blood. Uh, that's that's really weird. Yeah, it's still getting me blood, so I'm not gonna worry about that for now. But oh my god! Oh, why am I? Why am? What? Oh god! Why am I nausic? Nausea? Why? What have I done? Oh my god, this is a mess. This is a mess. Oh my god, look at how much stuff there is. Dinner bone? I kind of want to kill Dinner bone. 
Oh my god, there's so many monsters! Oh my god, look at this place! Alright, let's do it! Oh god, there's a creeper! Oh my god, there's so many mobs! Oh my god! Luckily it was a mana, a mana creeper. Oh god, but that one isn't. Oh my god! Oh god, I'm gonna get so much XP for this. Oh my god. That was a creeper in my house! That was a creeper in my house. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm getting the hell out of her. That was cool. That was cool. I'll admit that was cool. And I got all this armor. Oh my god, my, my door is just wide open. Oh my god, I just need to dump all this stuff. I wasn't expecting this this episode. I was not ready. I was not ready for this. Okay. Oh, I just want to do... I just want to do Britannia. I just want to do Britannia. I need a clock, don't I? Should I make myself a clock? I need to see how far I am through the night. Uh, gold and redstone, okay. I barely ever make a clock in Minecraft. They're like, really underused. I wish I had like, more of a purpose. Um, okay. Alright, it, it looks like it is the dead of night. It is midnight right now. Wow. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um, let's get some sticks and some leather. Okay, I'm going a little bit off topic, but I should be fine. Okay, item frame. We're going to place you, I, I don't know, like, let's place you under here. This, this area is underused greatly. There we go, we now have a clock. Oh my god, this, this blood moon is insane. Let's go, let's go, um... Let's go have a look at all the monsters. I hope there's no spiders or anything up here. Oh, we've got some looters down there. Who's that? Raspberry Fox? Uh, oh my god. So many. Jesus Christ, there's so many monsters and it's all red! Why is it all red? Oh, there's a creeper there. There's some baby zombies. Oh my god, where's the moon? Let's go up to my castle and have a look. So I continue to fix up my castle a little bit off camera as well. Um, oh, the moon's there. Oh god, okay. Oh, I really want to do. I really want to do some Britannia. This is just getting in the way. It's so annoying. Oh. Right, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait this one out by the clock, and I'll see you guys when the blood moon has finished. Ah, right. Okay, so it's I've I've waited until the filter's gone, and I think most of the monsters, oh, apart from the skeleton, have burned out outside. Uh, no, no, please. It, it, it looks like it's actually stopped my. It's got rid of all my witches, so I'm gonna have to collect them again. But I'll do that off camera. It's fine. Um, oh my god, there's so many monsters still. So many monsters. Right, okay, so... I just want to make my way to my garden. Kill off anyone who's in it. Yeah, get out of there. There we go. Alright, so I'm safe in my garden. Where we left off, I put my rune altar out. Apparently I need to bash it with my wand. Oh, look at that. It's cool. It's got a cool little interface. And it's saying how long until my rune is done. And then it says I have to throw a piece of living uh, living rock on top of the altar to finalise it. Okay, this is cool. Whoa, it's been struck by lightning. Okay, so if I throw that on. Oh. Throw it on. Or do I right click? Oh, oh god. Oh no, where's my Paxel? Where's my Paxel? There we go. 
Uh, is it done? Give me rune. Give me, give me rune. No? Um, when it happens, just drop a piece of living rock on top of it and use the wand again. Ah, okay, so use the wand again. So that goes on there. Boom! Yes! The Lymphium Doll. Nice. Okay, so where were we? We were making ourselves a ban of mana? No, ban of aura, wasn't it? Okay, and it's just a mana still, which I don't have. Where did I put my mana still? I don't have it. Okay. I'm going to have to get myself some iron. Boom. Luckily, all the monsters have gone. It's only four bits, which I have here. And let's go back to our Britannia setup. Chuck four ingots in there. Four. Nice. And boom. One band of aura. Let's equip it. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, our band of mana has now got a little duration. A uh, little, yeah, sort of like a duration band. It will generate mana over time. I kind of want to show you an example. Uh, of this, so if I sort of run around, la la la. Um, no, it generates really slowly. It uh, it generates really slowly, but I can upgrade most uh both of them to a greater band, uh of both of them. So these require one piece of terra steel. Terra steel is actually really hard to come by, but I will get it in the future. But that's the end of the episode, pretty much. Um, I basically focus on trying to get unlimited blood and mana. And I achieved it. I, I did it. Uh, but I do have one more thing to do, which is add a statue to the Hall of Heroes. And this person is a friend of mine at uni, again. And she wants her statue. She actually updated her skin for this. And she said she wanted to hold a raw fish. So, um, I said, why not? And she's going to be going next to Will, Barnsley boy. She needs to make sure there's no creepers. And this person is... Kiss Jelly, or Jess. So, Jess, welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Let's find you a good pose. Uh, she needs the dankest of all poses. For dankest memes. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Some of these really are just ridiculous. Come on, give me a good... We can have a sitting down. Yeah, sure. Let's have a sitting down. Like so. Have one arm up, one arm up. Uh, going like this, and her head can be going like that. It's like she wants a hug. There we go. Sculpt. Oh, nice. So we got our first statue sitting down. And let's add her some colour. Perfect. So this is her wearing like a cool hoodie. And that's really cool. So let's make her hold the raw fish. Um, Should I have it in that hand or this hand? Yeah, let's have it on that hand. I just looked at everyone else to see if I'm only doing it one hand, but it's very it is varying. So let's add a sign, of course. And welcome, Jess, to Oh to the Hall of Heroes. There we go, there's your place in the Hall of Heroes. I always do this sort of nice uh, screenshot in case people want to take screenshots of it just to um just to say, hey look, I'm in the Hall of Heroes. So now we have quite a few members of the Hall of Heroes. And it is getting quite full up. It's quite cool. And I just realised I haven't got myself in the Hall of Heroes. I might have to add myself like in the middle somewhere. Just ruling over everyone. <laughs> but obviously the next person will bounce back next to uh, Ben who will go here. Uh, I need to look down my list to see who's next. But make sure to leave your Minecraft name in the comments below so I uh, will add it. And also make sure to leave what item you want to hold as well. 
because you guys have been leaving your names but no items so I want to try and uh, ask what items because I want everyone to hold like a unique or uh, an item that is special to them and every uh, and some items even have backstories like Will Shovel so anyway this episode has been quite a hectic, hectic one uh, and oh my god it's already night it's already night damn right okay let's get in my blood altar let's just there we go perfect um <laughs> Brilliant. It's brilliant. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Guilty Craft. Uh, all the support that you've given me really does mean a lot. Um, but please make sure to leave any suggestions and your Minecraft names in the comments below. And any information you want to know about Guilty Craft will be in the description. So anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Guilty Craft 2. And I'll see you next time for more modded Minecraft. This is Gilton, signing out. Bye!